Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a quick preview of Wekin. Wekin is an open source project management tool, kind of like Trello, uh, and it has some nifty capabilities in that you can run it as a progressive web app, which means that it's possible to install the application directly from the browser onto your phone. And with a little modification, we could probably get this thing to run um, entirely offline and then sync only on demand. Um, so let me show you what Wekin looks like. I'm running a little demo server and I've made a little account called server or user123. I'm going to create a board, which like Trello is very much, um, uh, you can use it like a project. So if I create a board, it'll be project number one. Now, if I want to, I can import a pre-existing project or create a template or use a template um, of a project that I've already done before. So if I'm doing the same kind of project over and over and over again, I could just use a template and, uh, you know, save the time of creating a, a project by rolling out something with a whole bunch of uh, predefined steps. But in this case, I'm going to create a project from scratch. So now I have my project and I'm going to create a list of things to do. And if I want to, I can create more lists, but in this case, I'm perfectly happy just doing one. I'm gonna make task one, task three, and task two. Well, I've decided that actually I want task three to be come after task two, so I can click and drag it around. And if I load up an individual task, there's you can see that there's a lot of functionality here. It's There's a lot that we could ignore and just hide from the user if we decided that that's what we wanted to do. But in this case, we know that it's possible to make labels for things. Um, say, we're going to call this label um, uh, operation task. Um, we can make it a... Uh, we can apply a start date, so today, and an end date tomorrow. Oh, a due date, and the end date will be the same. <laughs> no, uh, tomorrow. Uh, we can create members of this task, so different people who belong to the task and will have access to it and can see it. We can also see assignees. So if there were multiple users on this server, I'd be able to assign more than one person to the task. As it is, I'm the only person using it. Um, so that's it. Here's a place where you can put a description. We're going to do a thing. Here are the steps. And here's the fun thing. We can also create checklists. So checklists, you can kind of create... <laughs> Steps within steps. So um, I have a checklist. I'm going to make part one, part two, part three, part four. And uh, as I go through, I can check things off and say that they're done. I can also create subtasks. Um, so if I have a, an item that's done, I think I could like create another thing. Test. Uh, I'll call this test subtask, view it, and voila, there's another subtask that I can apply under here if I wanted to. As it is, I'm perfectly happy. Um, so it's, it, it's as if I'm treating an entire project, uh, a task as an entire project, and there are subcomponents within it, which is pretty fun. But as it stands, we just care about this one particular project. And then it's also possible to upload uh, things to do. So say, for example, I have a uh, template document that needs to be filled out. And I could say, thing is in progress. Now, because uh, a lot of people depend on their mobile device to do these things, I can uh, simulate what it's going to look like using a mobile device. And I'll click this button here. Now this is what project one looks like on a, on a mobile screen. And I click in and you can see here's a task. Here's a checklist of things that need to be accomplished. You know, all the same functionality is there, just running in a handy dandy little mobile environment. 
There's other options that I can uh, go into. I can provide a description for my board. I can favorite it saying, this is my favorite board. I can make this thing public so that anybody with a link can check in on the, the task and see how it's going. Or I can keep it as private and only make it accessible to individual people. I can make uh, sure that I am notified about individual changes to this board or, um, or any changes to this board. Or I can make it so that I'm notified to any changes that I am as involved with, either as a person who made the card or just as a member following along with it. So this might be useful in the case of teams where uh, maybe there's a supervisor doing a thing and multiple people are accomplishing tasks on behalf of a, a supervisor. And with a single view, a supervisor could see what's going on. I could filter tasks. So say I only want to see tasks that are labeled in a certain way or have a certain title. Now I'm filtering. And I'll head back. And you can see that I can only see the one uh, project card, which is kind of cool. So I just see, um, oops, uh, ba -ba -ba. this, I have this one task. And of course I can undo the filter to uh, show the entire project. I can also search for custom cards within it. So if I just want something that's operation or just say one, I can search there. Uh, and things of that nature. So, uh, all in all, Wekin is a pretty powerful project management tool, but simple to use and uh, kind of a user-friendly interface. And the fact that it can be made into a progressive web app is really impressive. Uh, so that means that, you know, it might be something that users who are just operating with a mobile device will be able to access and make use of. All right. Thanks for watching.